Good evening, Southeastern. I am Matthew Rebosa. I am joined by my friend John Vega. John Vega, and um, we are here to present to you this hopefully wonderful game of basketball. The, our team, South East, it's Southeastern Hawks versus the Placid Skippers, and to, they are seven and zero. We are five and two. Hopefully, we can put an end to their undefeated streak. Hopefully. All right, here we go with tip off. We have Gabe Pereira and Deshaun. Yeah. Opening tip off. Here we go. Patrick Fidelli and Deshaun Texera. We get the ball early, and it seems that there is a call. The referee calls a carry on. What's his name? Here we go. Here's Cohasset, and the refs call a call on Cohasset. Fast. The call was on Patrick. Guy can't. The call was on Number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. Rocco. Rocco. Rocco is going to inbound. Rocco is modern life. To number 20. To the corner. Chris Haggerty. To number 20. Number five has the ball. Number 25 would be. Dribbles to the top of the key. There's the pass, a little push by number five. And a little penetration, but Fernando's there to stop it. And Ref calls the push on Fernando. Oh, push? That was a foul. He fell. Patrick has the ball again. Patrick. Patrick will inbound the ball. Patrick, Patrick. 15. With the penetration, out to 21 for the jump shot, and it's no good. No good. Steven on the fast break. Pass to Trey London, and the ref calls a travel. So far, the game is scoreless at 721 with two fouls on our two fouls on Southeastern, zero fouls on Cohasset. The ball is passed to. Never mind. I didn't have to worry about that so much. Just, you can just say numbers too. Okay. Number 20. I'll just start saying the numbers. I'm going to put that right there. Inbound, inbounds by Jalen Jones to Trey London. The cheerleaders seem to be doing some sort of cheer. Up the court by Jalen Jones. Here we go. Turnover. Number 15 is just number 5. Number 5 passes to 20. And there's a jump shot by 21. And it falls off the back of the iron. Score is now 2-0. Skippers. And here's Fernando. And it's a miss. Out of bounds on Cohasset. No, no, out of, no, out of bounds on us. Number five gets the ball. Number five gets the ball. He passes it to number 25. Number 25 passes it to 15. 15 passes it to five. Dang, there are a lot of fives on that team. And they all end in five, except for like two. Passes it back to 15. Passes it to 20. 20 goes to 25. And 25, two, one. No good. Number 35 gets the rebound. Passes it to number three. Number three's going up the court. Passes it to five. Five passes it back to three. Back to five. To one. One misses but gets it back. 24 gets it. Up and gets hit up by number five, but one recovers. One passes it to five. 35 sets a pick. One got up and down travel. Steven with the travel and bound by Cohasset. Number 21 on Cole has it, has it. Southeastern is playing 100 deny. Pretty much means they're trying not to let Cole has it inbound. They're playing man to man. Number. Oh, number four. They Penetration by five. Kicks out to four. Penetration by four, and he goes up. 
21 with another miss. Number one seemed to have smacked the backboard like it was making fun of it. <laughs> and there's a shot clock violation. I'm thinking all call when they're over there. You call when they're over there when our team, since oh, you know that's our cool. team's name. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Yeah. What was that, three in the key? I couldn't see the symbol. I think that was a three in the key violation. No, I think he just got fouled. Yep, player 20 fouled. Chris Inbound by Jalen Jones to Stephen McCall. Dribbles up, a little bit of trouble. He's going to have to pass it. Oh. It's a turnover. 15. 15 almost loses it. And then up by four. And no basket, and he travels. No basket, travel. so far, Timeout by Coach Duquette. This is a really good game, don't you? Oh, the leaders are taking the field. <laughs> you can commentate that. <laughs> looks like um, it looks like a array of F effort. I have no idea what they just spelled. What's in boy? F I G A T. I think they're spelling effort. I wasn't even listening. I, they, I swear they spelled F I G A T. I don't know. I wasn't listening. I don't know how to pronounce that. Right now, there's just a lone referee. Oh, oh. Like, the, the referee just put his whistle on his mouth. The other referee is just bouncing the ball casually, like it's none of his business. Oh, and the players are taking back the field. Number three is inbounding. Number three passes it to number five, our, our team. White number three, oh. White 35 to white three. White three is dribbling. White, white three to white one. White one is dribbling. Oh, white one gets loose control of the ball. And now it is to 31 to black. Black 32 to black five. Black 5 has played up, oh, and it's a basket by Black 21. That was a good, that was a good point. Now we inbound to five, player number five, five to one, one to five, five to three. Five to one, one to 24. 24 to 5. Shoot. Shoot! And no point. He seemed to have choked up. If he didn't choke up, he would have made that in. And there's the black by Gabe Pereira. Fernando. Ref calls a foul on 21. For a push. Jalen Jones will inbound. Now both teams have two fouls. And I feel like my back is on fire. And the cheerleaders seem to be cheering again, but on the sidelines, side, sidelines. Number three passes to number five. All right, Stephen McCall trying to get our first basket to start off the night. Here we go. And another turnover. Still looking for our first basket. I was correct. It's in the last game, it seemed that no one could score on that basket. Number 31 goes for the. Oh, he just got to Cam and Matunda. Trey London with the block. That guy just got to Cam what the Cam and Matunda or whatever his name is. What's his name? Uh, that was Trey. No, 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 the Cam and Matundo. Matumbo? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be like not in my house. Hmm. Cause that's what just yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third move with the free throws, two at the line. And he hits the first. The cheerleaders are clapping with those sparkly thingies in their hands. I don't know what those are. Pom poms, I think. Thirty-one. And the second one is good. Still scoreless. Yes, we. Oh! 
And another turnover. Here we go. Number one dribbles up past 33. Three, three to, three to four. Four to one. One to four. Four to 15. 15 to one. Here we go. One to four, 31. 31 to four. Four to 31. 31 to one. One and the ref calls the travel on number 15. Wow. He was dancing out there like Michael Jackson. Here we go. Inbound with Jalen Jones. He was like spinning around pretty much. What are you doing? It seems that someone is going through <coughs> someone else's bag. Is that your bag? It seems that someone is going through my broadcast partner's bag. That is punishable by a fine of $300 and down. Twenty one goes to the inbound. He will pass it to number five. Nope, number twenty. Number twenty's inbounding. He gets past the half court mark and passes it to number five. Number five passes it to twenty five. Twenty five moves up in the air but gets blocked. Now three is running down to half court. He passes it to number thirty five. Number thirty five gets blocked. Gets it to twenty. Twenty gets the rebound. Twenty passes it to five and twenty trip. I mean five trips. And now a message from our sponsors. Looks like Southeastern is getting beat on the fast break. Oh, we got to figure out how to stop their fast break penetration. They should just make a line. <laughs> and when they go, just run into them. And that's a foul, but it'd be worth it. I mean, it'd keep them from fast breaking. <laughs> Number five, has, number five white has the ball. Number five white passes it to number 13 white. Number 13 white passes it to three. Which is why we have the mic for this part when I'm going really fast. Yeah, but in basketball you don't really like, what's going on, bro? Usually you, know, you, you don't have to like say like, someone passed it to someone, bro. I know, I like to say it though. And, oh, oh kick the ball. And fast break, looking for our first bucket. Pop the shot and off the back of the iron. Gabe goes up and just can't seem to find that touch. It's like a it's like a munchkin trying to get it. It's like trying to force a munchkin into the center. With one minute left. And the penetration, and he gets fouled. Two at the line. Our team is our team is acting like they're trying to get a munchkin into a donut into the hole of a donut. It's not gonna happen no matter how hard you try. Uh, I, I know that from personal experience, it is impossible. The thing won't fit, and if you try to make it fit, it'll just crush and, it'll crush and break. I, I wasted about five good munchkins trying to do that. Don't judge me. Oh, oh, we finally got our first two points, but it was off of a foul shot. Number five looks like he's about to trip by black. Oh, five black is being covered by five white. And it is 235. 35, 25. So still looking for a first field goal. What? First and, goal. And, and then there was our first field goal by J Jalen Jones. It was a three. I thought we were commentating basketball, not football. Yeah, field goal is the same thing. Not a basketball. Basket. That's a basket. Field goal. Now, when it's from a three point, I'll, I can. You, you no, a field goal is just. Like, I'm thinking three points. You, you saw me, you, you a jump know. shot, anything, a layup. In my opinion, if you're going to say field goal, we should say from the three point line and field goal since that's Oh, hey, look at that. We cut their lead in half. Oh, and he looks like he's going for an intentional buzzer. Oh! He was asleep at the line. Like, and there was a little bit of bad communication on that play. Bad communication. Steven McCall no. threw that one away. Good defense by Jaquille. Oh, and it's no, no good. good no. And that's the end of the first. Five to ten. Oh, cheerleaders are back on the field. <laughs> okay, let me commentate what they do. 
It seems that my shoulder is paining me extremely, but let's see what's going on. Yes, hey Hawks, let's go. Left, left cheek up, hey Hawks, let's go. Left, left cheek up, let's go Hawks, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's throw our hands in the air like we just don't care. Kinda don't. This this product This production is sponsored by Sure Microphones. Pick up a Sure mic, cause that's the mic we're using. Oh and uh Cohasset. Cohasset storms the field and Team Cohasset has number 21 of uh, Carlton Richard inbounding. There's number one, number 31. Oh, hey. Hey, they inbounded. Okay, back to the game. One pass it to 25. 25 passes it to 31. 31 pass. No, 31 shoots it. 31 off the, off the whatever it's called. Off the rim. That's what I meant to say. Don't judge me. Last time I had anything to do with basketball, pretty much, that I actually paid attention for was last year when I played for BCB. I made my first ever basket that year. I scored three points that whole year. One foul shot and, two, and one regular shot. I got a block. I'm like, two, I was like five feet tall. I got a block. That's good. Like I, I, the Cam and Matundo, that kid that I blocked. Oh, back to the game. 24 gets the rebound. 24 White gets the rebound. 24 White passes it to five White. Five White's gonna pass it to five three. I can tell. I was correct. Five three shoots it. Oh, and it pops out like a munchkin in a donut again. Oh. And it goes around like Danica Patrick. And Fernando got fouled. He's going to take two at the line. Still looking for that second field goal. We only got one three by Jalen. Here we go. Looking for two more points on the board. We got one three. And, and the first one goes up. And it is good. good. Bounces off the backboard. That reminds me of the time that I threw my PlayStation controller at my PlayStation because I was... And the second one goes up, and it is good. That one, that one is like... Oh, 31-3, 31-15, 15-20 something. Come on, come back to 15, 15 to 21. Uh, a lot of passing here by Cohasset. It's Ten like seconds left on the shot clock. It's like In the corner shot from the short corner, and ref says it's white ball. Hawks a chance for its second field goal. We've only had one field goal so far. Here we go. The rest are all been free throws. Five to five to three. <laughs> And, oh, 13 gets the ball. 13 to 24. Yeah. He traveled, but the ref did not call it. 24 goes in, and it goes in. The score is now 9-10. We are just about, we are one point away from taking the tie. We're going to take the tie like a bow tie. Then we're going to get the lead like a whale. Okay, so white three to white five, white five back to white three, white three back to one five, to white five. Yeah, this is reminiscent of the beginning of the game. 
And white, white five to white 24. White 24 back to white three. White three to 113. White 13 to white 24. 24 to five. Five to three. Three to 35, nope, three goes for the shot. 35 goes to rebound, 35 goes up. 35 fouls. Oh, and it seems that he is injured, but he's getting up. He's not. That's another foul on Cole Hassett. Back to the line again, Fernando for two more. Um, let me interject, Cole Hassett has five fouls now. What does that mean? Well, not, they're not in the bonus? They have five fouls. And it bounces off. First one's a little short. It bounces off. That one also bounced off, but to the right. Just like how, just like how lug nuts bounce off during the pick cruise. Moving his feet too much there. We got another Michael Jackson out there, moving his feet without dribbling. Because this is thriller. Three to five, five to three. Oh, oh, look what's happening again. Three back to five. Five back to three. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, get down. Nine, ten. Oh. And this, and, and there will be our third field goal. Fernando back to the line for one more this time. One, ball is live. Let me take this moment to thank, let me take our moment, let me take this moment to thank our sponsors, Axel, let's go, oh, I dropped my hat. <laughs> Sorry for stepping on your shoe right there. Damn, the all six butt. Huh? The all six butt. Yeah. Oh, it seems that we scored another point. Let me take this time to thank our sponsors, Axe Celtica, DuPont, and Chromax Pro. Because without them, without them, I wouldn't be wearing two. I wouldn't be wearing a hat and a jacket. So Thiessen having a little bit trouble inside. Cole has it's very tall. Nobody on the varsity team is under six foot. Oh, turnover, fast break. Jalen Jones back on D. And number four goes up, but gets fouled. And he'll go to the line for two. As a technical foul on Gabe Pereira for talking back to the ref. He, wait, he did what? He talked back to the ref. Uh, oh, did he just do it again? It seems that number 20, Chris Haggerty, is going up for the foul shots. He gets it. It is. Uh, Five black five dog black four five to four to twenty one to twenty back to four to thirty and we intercept it. It's a tie game. And five to four three to five five to thirteen. Thirteen goes up for the layup but misses Chris Haggerty gets it back. The only reason why I remember his name is because the Haggerty because of the Haggerty auctions. 4 to, 4 to 20, 20 to 5, 5 to 4, 4 to 20, 20 to 21, to 5, to 21, 
to 20, to 30, three, to 33. Back to 21, 21 takes a jump shot, and he misses it. Five gets it in. Um, the skipper's lead. Three, three to one, one to 35, 35 to, thir to, to one. I'd pass it to 13 if I were them. And, Jay, and Stephen McCall just stepped out of bounds. And by Michael has it. With three minutes to go, 12 to 14, guest leading. Southeastern Hawks playing an excellent 2 3 zone. Ooh, foul. Foul on someone. Ref calls a hold. Oh, hold? I thought that was a foul. And, Col and Kohasa is in the bonus, so they will be shooting too. How do we, when we get yeah. And somehow gets that layup to go through four that Southeastern was, players. That was an amazing move. I will give them that. That was amazing. Oh, what? No hold? Yeah, they better be hold. He literally just grabbed his arm and was like, oh, I'm going to eat, eat, rip your arm off and eat it. Stephen McCall at the line for two. Hopefully we make it in, and if we don't, then chicken nuggets, I guess. We're going to have a sub. sub. Sam is going to come in for Jalen Jones. Oh, Stephen McCall with his first down. shot. And it's gold. Not gold. It is, it, it, it is bronze. It is far away from gold. That, 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 no way that was ever gold. You thought that was gold? You must be kidding. Oh, 25 to 5. Right. Our mic may have been off for a little bit. Gets 25 steals it and he misses the layup, but he gets put back in. That was an amazing play. Now they are up by eight. Can we? Apparently, I don't know how to speak English, and one of our players is doing a touchdown for some reason. I'm one of our players is doing a push up for some reason, and apparently, that was a foul. I, it seems that you're not allowed to do push-ups on the court because you'll get a foul on you. And Black makes the, oh my God, it is. Shh. We have almost more fouls than we have points. That's, it's a little depressing actually. That is a little bit depressing. Again, because we're in the bonus, we're going straight to the line for every foul. Whether it's a block or push, go straight to the line. Jalen Jones for two shots. Or if it's someone doing push-ups on the court. No, he didn't. He all I see is one of our players. All I saw was one of our players doing push-ups and then foul. Hey, um, and the score is 21-12. Skippers in the lead. Oh, and there's a fight for the ball. There is an all-out fight for the ball, which should have been a foul on someone, but it wasn't. Now the score is 23-12. Skippers in the lead, as we are one minute and five seconds away from halftime. Um... One pass to the five. 
Five passes it to 13. 13 passes it back to one. No, he passes it to five. Five goes in. Five makes a layup. Layup. Good. 14, 23, Cohasset. 31 spins and makes it in. And then he does a little spin, spins against the ball. A little spin a Rooney with his hands. And tries to make a layup, but it doesn't go in. The ball is to 25. Now to 21. Now to three. I mean, yeah, now to five. Now back to 31. Now back to five. Now back to 31. Now to 15. 15 to 25, 25 to 21, 21 to five. And they finally take a shot. I do believe that the shot clock has now been turned off. They are just hogging the ball like they are chickens. And they're going for a buzzer beater. And it is not good. It was not good. It was like 20 feet away from the basket. And it's now it's halftime. And it seems that the cheerleaders are going to storm the field again, but Lewis. they aren't. Lewis! Lewis! I was incorrect. They are not storming the field. Lewis! The new facility really has allowed us to provide a 21st century education. Everything has changed. The, the school culture is uh, so positive, so exciting. You look at the new science wing, uh, in, you know, the science labs that are in there, you look at the, the health and medical wing, the dental area, every single vocational program uh, was improved upon. We were able to complete the project ahead of schedule and uh, it just enhances the school so much. The experience was great. I was a little nervous as, as the school principal when they you know, ripped out the ceiling tiles and everything was exposed for two years. We didn't have one problem with the students. In fact, they learned. They were able to watch and learn from the process, which I think was great. In fact, many of them were involved in the process. There's actual students here who are in the shops who are working on the building scene. You know, like, this is what we do. And actually working to build this place, it's like, here we are learning our career and putting it into action. It was a long time when we were in the middle of construction. Now that it is just about done, people are excited to come to school every day. It's like a free environment, everyone's like nice to each other, everyone knows each other basically. The remodeling in particular has been a great thing for the performing arts uh, department. We're a new program, we're just starting to be developed over the, the last couple of years and now that we've actually start to have our shop uh, set up and in place like the other shops have, uh, it's, it's been a great attitude boost for the kids. Oh I love it. Our, our shop was, it was okay before, but now that we have it redone, it's a lot more organized and we can do more things with it. And you can actually start hearing what you're doing. It's given the school like an identity that we need and it's given the vocational program space to do what they need to do. It was a challenge for a couple years to work through it. Uh, we didn't shut down to rebuild, we had to work around that construction. Um, but in the end, it's left us with a, a really a fresh feeling. And uh, you can tell by the incoming freshman class that they're really excited about seeing new science labs, uh, new technology with items like Chromebooks and smart boards in every classroom. Part of the education that we're giving them here is how to use technology properly. And by having computers in the classroom and by showing them the different ways that they can use technology, we're giving them the skills that they're gonna need to succeed. Since the construction, it's like a whole new school. It's like, you know, freshman, sophomore year, I went to one school, and then junior, senior year, I mean, the entire outlook has changed. And me, my dad, my, me, my dad, my mom, my sister, we eat all of them. Actually, me, my dad, my mom, we eat all of them. Oh, oh, are we recording again? We are recording. I am back. And it seems 25 passes it to 15. 15 passes it to 21. 21 passes it back to 25, but 25 
it gets some answers up to 25 to 5, 5 to 15, 15 to 25, and it is not good. 35 gets the rebound, 35 heads to the 5, 5 heads to the 1. Oh, one, one just like tackled that kid pretty much. As I am walking around, I don't know why I'm walking, but I am. Let that be known, I am walking. Let me move this for you. I try not to say like unnecessary things, like I'm walking. <laughs> oh, he just got tackled pretty much. That is his, that is number one on their team. <laughs> I thought Tim Boyd's getting his food. Yeah, he is. He is? What's he getting? Well, food's food. Food's good, 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 food, good, good food. 20, 20, Chris Haggerty passes it to, why do I expect to know these people's names? I mean, it's not like I, Chris Haggerty passes, <laughs> Chris Haggerty passes that down rebound and someone just scored a goal. The score is now 14-25. Skipper's leading, but number five passes it up, and uh, it is good. The score is now 16-25. We are chasing after number five on their team like he, like we are dogs, and he has bacon. I hope that made sense. Chris Haggard gets the ball, passes it to Patrick. Oh, and Patrick shoots it and misses, and it goes back to Rocco. Rocco passes it back to Chris Haggard. And it is good. Score is now 28-16. Uh, what? Oh, that was almost a travel. It's good. It is now 18-28. Five passes it to 25. 25 passes it to 21. 21 goes to the jump shot, and he misses it. They get the rebound. Five gets the rebound, five goes in. Five passes it back to 20. 20 passes it to, 20 passes it to 21. 21 passes it to five. Five passes it back to 20. 20 passes it to 15. 15 scores the basket. It is now 30-18. It is now 30-18. They're leading by 12. Oh, and it gets a just by 15. 15 goes for the point. It is now 32 18. That point was scored by Henry Brown, the 6 foot 3 senior captain. Ooh, travel off number 3 of Jalen Jones. And we're about to get another technical foul, I guarantee it. Number five is staring down two people at once. Number five passes it to 20. 20 passes it to four. Four passes it to 15. 15 passes it to 20. 20 passes it to five. Five gets the ball tipped. It goes to 20. 20 passes it to four. Back to five. 20 to five. 33. Five to 33. Oh, and it is a foul going that way. Going that way. To the, to the other Ref calls over the back on four on Jalen Jones. And here we go, inbound by Jalen Jones. He looks like he's signaling for a spike. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, nearly a turnover. And then it is a three on two. Here we go. Four goes up. Off the glass. No good. Stephen McCall on the fast break. Pass at the 15. 15 goes for it. And, and Jaquel is fouled. Two at the line. Two at the line, yes. With... 445 left in the third period. I mean, what? That's, yes, actually, I was right the first time. 445 left in the third period with the score is 8 19 32 with the skippers winning. The cheerleaders just did some jump thingy. <laughs> don't, know. don't talk about people. Don't talk about stuff that people don't want to hear about. I'm just announcing everything. Don't do that. 20 to 33, 30 to 35. 5 to 20, 20 to 15, 15 goes for the shot, he takes it back in though, 4, 15 to 4, 
And it is bad. It is a bad dog. Oh, oh, missed the ball. Now it is going. Uh, the skippers. Skippers ball, and there is a sub. 31 takes out four. Yes, that is right. 31 just like, I don't know. Inbounded by number 33 of Jack Chamberlain. 33 passes it to, five, to five. 5 to 31. 31 to 15. 15 to 5. 5 to 20. 20 shoots it. 20 misses. Three gets the ball back. Our team three gets the ball back. Three goes for the shot. Passes it to 13. 13 misses. This is amazing. Oh. Oh, and it hits a person in the audience. It hit a person in the audience. Score is now 20 to 32. It's only a 12 point lead. That's only six buckets. Ooh, number 15 through the tight D and scores the basket. Five buckets now. No, seven. Three pointers also. I count as many points as possible. Two fouls for the Hawks and three for the Skippers. Skippers, they sound like they should be on a boat. I meant that in the nicest way possible. Five to 13, 13 back to five. Five, yeah, he misses the shot. Oh, th three gets the rebound, three, three. To S Sam and one. Sam goes to the line for one. <laughs> we just got food. And uh, 21. Oh. All right. He passed me a Milky Way and a bag of Cheetos. Sorry. 21 to 20, 20 to 31. And that is a travel. Traveling. <laughs> that is a travel. I flip everything over. I, I have severe. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> Oh, three to three to thirty-one. Thirty-one had to make a jumping catch for that on our team. Oh, the five. Five to thirteen. Five back to thirteen. Thirteen to three. Three back to. Yeah, hasn't been counted like two games. That is a point. It is now twenty. 24-34. That was a foul on the Skippers. Mm. Foul on us. One free throw has been scored. Fernando up and it's good. No, it's only a 10 point lead by Kohasset.
What happened? And Kohazic playing a full court press. Best way to beat a press is just to pass through it. And wide open jumper doesn't fall. Fast break number one. Short corner number 15 hits it. Twenty four Gabe. Oh, oh he just, like, number twenty one takes the charge, but the ref didn't call it. With thirty seconds left in the period, it is twenty six thirty eight. Yeah. Skippers. About a five second difference between shot and game clock. So that means that no matter what, we're gonna get the ball back. M maybe if they can shoot it and get the rebound. Right. Down to five on the shot clock. Got to find something, 21 on the drive. Fakes Fernando, goes up, misses it. 15 on the follow, no good. Still no good, 21 on another follow. With Couldn't get it to go, basket does not count. That was an amazing period and the cheerleaders are back again. Let me tell you what they say again. Hawk. Hawks. Get up. Let's go. Hawks. Get up. Let's go. Hawks. Get up. Let's go. Hawks. Get some. Let's go. Arm in the air. Take your hands like you just don't care. Recording still? <laughs> yeah. I think I am. <laughs> oh, that scared me. My water has a lump of ice in it. <laughs> Are you going to edit this stuff Twenty to twenty-five, twenty-five to fifteen, fifteen, five, five, twenty-five, uh, twenty, twenty, twenty to twenty-five. Oh, and it's a block. He just got to Kade Matundo. Twenty-five to five, five to fifteen, fifteen gets blocked. Thirteen goes up for the layup. He makes it. Oh, the lead's now ten. Skippers. Why am I so excited? Oh, try not. Say like, oh, if that was a good pass. The score is now 28. 41 skippers. They seem to have scored a three-point shot. Oh, and 13 gets his pass blocked. They get the rebound, though, no, passes it back to five. Kohasset is playing man-to-man. -man. Oh, they get their own rebound. It goes out of bounds, and it hits someone that is messing with the clock. Southeastern ball. Southeastern ball. Timeout. I think I heard a timeout. I heard someone yell. Oh. Yep. He seems to be pointing where he's dribbling, but he misses the shot, and it is out of bounds on Cohasset. Jaquel's teardrop was no good. Tipped out by Cohasset. Inbound by Jalen Jones. 
into the backcourt to Stephen McCall. Plenty of time, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Number three definitely just got fouled. He was close to all midair. And Coach Duquette calls a timeout. Cheerleaders are back. Yes. No, thank you. I do believe both teams just got a warning for a delay of game. Both teams storm the field like they are going to war. Number five goes the ball. Oh! That. Actually, that shouldn't have been a shot clock violation because the ball did hit the rim and the shot clock should have been reset. No, it's actually not the ref that controls the shot clock. It's the people at the announce table who got that wrong. And he got hit in the arm, on the floor, no free throw. But it is a free throw, I think. Well, actually, I am wrong. Oh, no, yep, yeah, inbound. Ball's on the floor. Five fouls, one more, and they'll be in the bonus. Pick. You can't move while you set the pick. Uh. Time out, Cohasset. I anticipate the cheerleaders return. I am incorrect. Here we go, with five minutes and 40 seconds left. Five fouls each. Inbound by Jalen Jones. Kohasset is now playing a 1-3-1 zone. Gabe on the take, it is good for two. with the hook shot and got fouled. Gabe thinks otherwise, he had his hands up. And, and two. Number 24 of Gabriel. 
Number 24, Gabriel Pereira is one more foul away from being ejected, I think. Am I correct? He has four fouls. No, it's six. Six in your out. Six now? Mm -hmm. I thought it was four. Five goes for the jump shot, and he misses it. Time out, Duquette. They have returned. <laughs> Kiana is the captain of the cheerleading squad. With four minutes and 43 seconds left in the game, Kohasik leading by 13. Kohasik still playing a 1-3-1. One, one. A zone is easy to beat with simple passing. Jalen for three. No good, Fernando rebound. Oh, pass through the legs, what a nice pass. Steven McCall up, no good. Rebound with 21, fast break. He lost it. Jalen Jones on the fast break. One on one. Stolen by number five, but out of bounds. Negating that steal. Jump ball, uh, southeastern ball. Call has it still strong with their one three one zone. That's how you exploit their zone by just passing through it. Gabe on the drive, and it's good for two. Southeastern just has to keep penetrating their zone, keep passing through it, and they'll get through it every time. Three minutes and 10 seconds to go. Cole has to go up by 11. If there's a miss on this possession, oh, and there it is, blocked by Gabe. If there's a miss on this possession, it'll be a very interesting game to see. And fouled. Gabe trying to avoid another technical. Oh, one more and he is out of the game.
Nice little floater by Jalen Jones. Inbound to number five. Full court press by Southeastern. Might have an easy layup here. And they do. Stephen McCall on the drive. Little shake and bake. Jalen on the wing. And it is good for three. Cohasset up 10, only five buckets. Good defense by Jaquil. Timeout by Cohasset. Cheerleader storm the field. I can hear the other team yelling, get rid of the basket. Come. And the game is beginning again. They seem to be hard pressing them like you hard. Oh, there's a foul or something. It's an off the ball foul. South Decent up to eight fouls. As in the foul happened away from the ball. Kohasa is in the bonus, so they'll go straight to the line. This is where we're losing the game. With our fouls. I think as our team gets more and more tired, they get more and more slippy. Gonna come up with, the word. with those three free throws, it's now a 12 point game. Still only four with two minutes and 10 seconds to go, Stephen McCall looking for a basket. Passes to Jalen Jones and he pops a tray. Just a tad short, Sam with the rebound and it's good for two. Kohasa with a 10 point lead. Here's a two on two break. Jaquil nearly with a steal. Good defense there. Southeast is still going strong with their 2 3 zone. It's kind of hard in high school with the 30 second shot clocks. Inbound to, to Stephen McCall. Dribbles around looking for some room. Pass to Jalen Jones. Thinks about shooting it and he does and it's good from long range. That's an NBA three pointer right there. Might be an easy bucket here. Oh and they missed it. Jalen Jones on the break. Jalen Jones on the break. And he shoots it for another three, and it's short this time. And the ref calls a push on Jaquil Rustin, number 13. With 106 to go, nine fouls. Kohasa is in the bonus, so they'll go straight to the line. Duquette with the timeout. Chikoritas. I meant to say Cohasset or Skippers, but I said Chikorita. Apparently fouled them. Three guards in the back. Three guards in the back. First one is good. First one is good. Now the score is 42-50. So it is. Okay, will they make it again? They do not. So it's going to say a one problem on Toya to a nothing. Might want to expect a three on this possession. 
Oh, and then there's a steal. Number five with the easy layup. And he gets fouled to the line for two. And this one might just be a wrap, folks. Might be too hard to overcome on this one. Love to see it come back. First one is good. Stephen McCall on, on the break. Nader loses, loses the dribble. Penetration by Stephen. And he got fouled. A little exaggeration there. And it is now 10 fouls to 7 fouls. Yeah. Both teams in, now in the bonus. Stephen McCall for two shots. And the first on the foul was Joe Buckley for his second of the game. We missed the shot. We missed the king. We missed the king. With that free throw, is now a 10 point game with 45 seconds to go. With the steal by Jaquiel, up goes Sam, and it's good. Eight point lead. Oh, it is now. Full court press. It's now an Adam Petty to a nothing. And foul on Stephen McCall. Kohasa will go to the line because they're in the bonus. Why do we keep fouling? If he misses these free throws, the game might be a little bit interesting. Oh yeah, right now they have First one is no good. If he misses this, we get the rebound. Might and we hit a three and could be an interesting game. But we ha he has to miss, and we have to hit a three in the position we have. Two threes and two. No, no, I, I will put money on it will not happen. I know I'm not being like, oh, we can do this, but it's not going to happen. Second one is good. Inbound to Jalen Jones. Might want to expect the three on this possession. And there it is by Fernando. Ooh. Off the top of the backboard. And, we foul them again. and then there's another foul. Call has it to the line. For our 12th foul of the second half. 23 seconds to go. The score is a. The score is a Adam Petty to a Kurt Busch. Score is actually an Adam Petty to a nationwide Kurt Bush. I mean Kyle Bush. With 23.8. With 23.8 seconds remaining, it, it looks like this is a going to be a long shot. But no way. Nope. Not gonna happen. No. <laughs> Uh, I'm terribly sorry for saying that. He goes for the shot. It's good. But it only brings Locking us. Microphone, what? Him. Oh, and with 1.1 seconds remaining in the game, it is 47-55, Cohasset. We have in the period four. We have twelve fouls. They have seven fouls, and it is the thirty-fifth for number thirty-five on our team. It is his fourth foul. That thir number thirty-five is Fernando Quaid, and they have fifty-six points now. Game over. The final score is 47-56. Cohasset Skippers win. This has been Matthew Barboza along with my broadcast partner, John Vega, and we are out of here.